Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Blair Lamb and I make videos about all the different parts of my life. If you're not new around here, you can probably recite that with me because that's how I begin every one of my videos. It is early on Tuesday morning and so I think I will do either a day in a life, day in the life vlog of today or like a couple of days like today and tomorrow. So you might be able to hear, I've got some laundry going, I'm about to unload the dishwasher, Riley just took the kids to school, I just got myself showered and ready for the day. Um, I drank a green protein smoothie while I was getting the kids ready this morning, so I have had some breakfast and I'm pretty full from that um, because I use that protein yogurt, it has like 28 grams of protein in it, so it, it definitely fills me up. Um, but I haven't had coffee yet, so I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and I'm trying to just have sort of a low-key day because I think I might be on the verge of getting sick and it is just not a good time for me to get sick. I don't actually have any symptoms, but you know when you start to learn your body and you get that kind of rundown feeling, like for me it's about 24 to 48 hours before I start actually feeling sick. Well, I had that feeling yesterday, so I went and worked out in the morning and I had a really good workout. I'm actually really sore today, which is, I'm not sore after every workout anymore because I have been working out regularly now for over two years, wild to say that. But I was, which also could play a part of like fatigue and my body's not recovering super great. Um, but then yesterday I went up to my office and I was getting things done and I had no focus. I felt so scatterbrained and just so tired and I found myself just like hyper fixating on tasks that didn't need to be done. And when I'm like that and I can't, I'm not able to find a focus, it usually means I'm tired. So then I was like, why am I so tired? I got good sleep last night, I worked out, I had lunch, like I had done, you know, I had had a normal day. And then last night, Riley and I were hanging out after we put the kids to bed and I kept like nodding off. We were watching the football game, Monday Night Football. And he's like, are you okay? Are you getting sick? And I thought, you know, I might be because I am just like, my body feels super run down. So I'm trying not to push it too hard today. Now I do have some things on my list. I have some things I'd like to get done around the house today. I do need to go into my office and package some orders. I have some emails to answer. I need to place a grocery order. Um, Colin's birthday is on Friday and so I want to get, like just go to the dollar store and get some cute little decorations just for a little at home, like breakfast, morning, birthday gathering kind of thing, just like paper plates with I don't know, Spider-Man or something that he loves on them. Um, so I've got all those different things in my mind. My parents are also coming in for Colin's birthday. So his birthday's on Friday, the kids' joint birthday party is on Saturday, and um, they're coming on Thursday night. So I don't really have a whole lot to do to get ready for them, but just I just have that in the back of my mind. Maybe I'm just tired because I have a lot of different things on my mind, but I, I sort of feel like maybe I'm getting a little sick. So I'm gonna go make a cup of coffee, get um, some of my, my, one of my little emergency packets that I've been taking every morning that's like vitamin C and then all these immunity boosting things and um, kind of kick off my day with that. So welcome to either a daily vlog or a few day vlog, something like that. But I'm glad you're here. Okay, I just finished cleaning up the kitchen and tidying up the living room. It wasn't that bad. I just poured some cream in my coffee. So I'm gonna stir it up. And I'm actually gonna um, listen to the Bible while I do some of my coloring that I was talking about in a recent vlog. Just a nice relaxing way to start the day, just for 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes. And then I'll head into my office and get my work day going. But just trying to start my day a little bit more centered and focused in a positive direction, so. Let's head over to my desk and I'll show you my little setup and then I'll turn the camera off and enjoy my time. Okay, so I have one of my coloring books with some scripture on it and it's just a nice way for me to keep my hands busy coloring um, while I'm listening to scripture being read aloud. And I have these markers, so pretty. And then I'm just, today I'm just gonna start listening through Psalms, so. Um, starting with Psalm 1 and I'll just kind of listen through a few of them for like I said 20 or 30 minutes and uh, Just take some quiet time 
Okay, I just finished. I spent about 20 or 25 minutes. I listened to, I think, 17 or 18 psalms. Um, so that was quite a bit, which was wonderful, and colored the whole time, which was really helpful. I feel like it, it's just, it just really helps me focus. Um, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's just simple, but it's fun to do. So I was so focused, I didn't even really drink my coffee, but that's okay. I can still drink it now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and head into work. I think on the way I might try to pop by the dollar store and grab a few little things to do a little mini birthday party for Colin on his actual birthday. I just got loaded up in my car and um, I just wanted to share quickly that I have truly been thinking nonstop about all of these hurricane victims and as I'm filming this Hurricane Milton is about to make landfall and it is looking like it is going to be highly highly destructive and dangerous and it is all I can think about it is all I can think about Riley just said this morning he's like I can't stop watching the weather it's like it's it's just awful so our hearts go out to anybody who if you yourself or if family members, loved ones, friends are being affected by these horrific, horrific hurricanes. I'm just in complete shock at how destructive they are. Uh, it's, it is, it is awful. So just know that we are thinking about you because I, it's unimaginable it is it is truly unimaginable I just finished up packing all my orders. I did what I showed you, which is print the orders, package them all up, that whole process. I do that in batches because I find that I make fewer mistakes when I do them in batches rather than doing them all at once. So I did a few of those batches. I just showed you the one, but I just loaded them all up into my car so I can take them to the post office. I did wanna show you real quick though, the um, October shirt of the month which is $20 shipped in the US and it is 
one of my favorites ever. I think it's so fun. It's a Comfort Colors Pepper. The color is called Pepper. Um, short sleeve shirt, and this is the design. Some skeletons just waltzing down Main Street, I guess. So fun. Um, so I will leave a link to this below. We are also currently running a sale where if you use the code SPOOKY at checkout, you will get 20% off plus free US shipping. So pretty good deal, I must say. Um, I need to fold all of those, this whole pile. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'm really getting hungry for lunch, so I'm gonna go home and grab some lunch before I have to get the kids at school. And um, yeah, it's been a very productive morning. Well, hello, I just got home and I am making some pasta for lunch. It still has about a minute and a half, so quickly. Riley and I still love liquid IV and we use them multiple times a week, very often, especially during the summer. Our stash was running low, so I ordered a couple of fresh bags. I got strawberry, and tangerine this one has extra vitamin c in it which i thought would be good as we head into cold and flu season here shortly um and then we have been also subscribers to butcher box for i mean it's got to be coming up on five years i it's been a long time um and so this is their organic chicken breast um it's so their meat is so superior to what you can get at the grocery store so we get a big box of meat every month and i'm thawing some chicken breast right now and then for dinner i'm going to marinate it and either grill it or instant pot it or something and i'm deciding between which one i'm going to use these are our two current favorite chicken marinades this one is so good this is the sweet baby ray's garlic parmesan sauce and marinade it's so good it is so good. So that, and then the other one we love is the Kinder's Fajita Cooking Sauce and Glaze. Let me turn that off. This is so yummy. Riley likes to use this on the Blackstone because I'll use like most of it, like three quarters of it to marinate the chicken. And then when he's going to actually like cook it up on the grill, he'll put some more on, on top and kind of let it like, what is the term for that? <laughs> like be a glaze. I don't know how to say that properly, but if you're looking for, we get all of our groceries, almost all of our groceries, except for the meat, which is from Butcher Box, um, from Walmart. We have it either delivered or we do a pickup. So both of these are available at Walmart. I will link them both below if you're looking for some good new chicken marrieds. They're so stinking good. So that's what we're doing for dinner tonight. One of the two of those with probably like some rice or um, if we do fajitas, then I'll just have, we'll just have some tortillas or something. I don't know, something easy, but that's kind of the direction that I'm heading. Um, I'm gonna make this pasta and eat it. I'm very hungry, but I'm in the kitchen getting things done. I also just cleaned out our fridge and there were a few things in there that were leftovers that we were on the last tail end of it. So I scrubbed out those containers and put them in the dishwasher. And so I feel like I've been super productive in the 10 minutes while this pasta has been cooking. Okay, just made some penne with some marinara sauce and Parmesan on top. I was trying to find some kind of meat or protein to add to this, but we literally don't have any. And then I was trying to find some vegetables to add to it, like maybe a side salad and everything was moldy and gross. So I need to do a grocery shop clearly, but you know what, this will do. And have I ever made the right amount of pasta? Never in my life. Like I always, <laughs> I always am like, it's like a streganona situation. It's just way too much pasta, but whatever. That's my lunch. I'm currently watching this show that is new to me. I'm watching it on Hulu, but it's on A&E. And the show is called Witness, let's see, what's it called? Witness to Murder Digital Evidence. And it's all about detectives who have solved crimes um, solely based on digital evidence. Like one of the, I just watched one while I was packing orders where they solved the crime based on someone's Xbox. Um, based on cell phone history and cell phone towers and all. It's like super interesting. I really like it. Charlie, could you make any more noise? Oh, and look, it looks like one of the kids spilled maybe yogurt, could be, not sure. 
and the TV needs to be updated. Like, bless it. Anyway, I'm gonna try to eat this pasta and relax. <laughs> They just solved this murder using the flashlight app. The data from the flashlight app. My mind is so blown. That was wild. Definitely watch this if you're a true crime person. I'll put a link to it below so you don't have to try to remember the name of it. Um, but like I said, I'm watching it on Hulu, but you could also watch it just like on a and &E. I don't know if A&E has a streaming app itself or you could just record it if you have something that you could record it. So anyway, super interesting. Well, hello, it's like seven o'clock now and I still haven't made dinner. <laughs> Riley and I have just been sitting out here chatting and the kids have been playing on their bikes and scooters and whatnot. They actually just, our neighbor just got home and they are obsessed with him and his wife. They're basically like the kids' surrogate grandparents. So they just ran over there to say hello and it, they have, it's a very sweet relationship between the four of them. But we're just sitting out here chatting and talking about, you know, our days and what's coming up and this weekend with the kids' birthday party and all that kind of thing. And this is like one of my favorite times of the year in Texas. October is such a beautiful month. It's just mild and nice and just so pleasant to be outside. So we're just really enjoying it. And it's still light out late, which is nice. I really am not a fan of when it's like 5 p.m. and dark with daylight savings. So just enjoying it all around. So we'll get inside and make dinner. I might save the chicken for tomorrow night since we haven't even started and it's seven o'clock, but we'll see. Maybe something easy for tonight, like a frozen pizza or something. Um, but it's just, it's just lovely out here. It's really, really nice. And we've just been enjoying catching up and hanging out and just, you know, breathing in some fresh air after uh, working and whatever through the day. Say hi. Hi everybody, how are we doing today? <laughs> I mean like this space is just such a gift. We truly enjoy it so much. I just got an Amazon package delivered and it's all bracelet making supplies for the ears tour because we my cousin and I are going here in the next month and we want to be prepared. I'm super excited. So I got this. This was only like six or seven dollars and it just is so that you can lay out your bracelets and it's the correct size. I always struggle with that. Um, so I got that. And then these were highly recommended where after you knot the string, you put one drip of this on the string and it sets it so that it won't come unraveled, which I thought sounded really good. Again, these were like five or six bucks and then of course I got some beads so I got this size I think these are the three millimeter seed beads I thought these were really pretty and I liked the variety of colors and then the letters I'll link all this below but um I'm very excited to get cracking on this maybe after the kids go to bed tonight I can start start making some for trading not super great lighting but it's like 10 o'clock now the kids are down for dinner, Riley did end up using that chicken that I thawed. He ended up um, marinating it in the garlic parmesan sauce that I had showed you, and then he rolled it in breadcrumbs, and then he put it in the oven, and it was so yummy. And then he drizzled some of the garlic parmesan sauce on top, and then he served it with some rice, and it was like a really delicious meal. So I'm glad we ate that. The kids loved it. They both had seconds, like they really liked it. So very easy and yummy, really good marinade. Like I said, I'll make sure to leave a link to it below so you can pop it in your Walmart cart if you also order Walmart groceries. Speaking of Walmart groceries, we just got a delivery um, about an hour ago and now we have like fruits and vegetables and <laughs> protein and just like the normal things that we have not had for a while here. So that's a good thing. And um, I'm tired. I have a workout first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna go read my book for a little bit, wash my face, brush my teeth, get in bed in the opposite order of what I just said. Brush my teeth, wash my face, read my book and then get in bed. You probably could have got that. Anyway, I'm tired and um, it's been a really good day, a productive day. I've had some good family time. We really enjoyed our time outside. That was a lot of fun. Um, Nora and Colin ended up playing with our neighbor. Um, he had 
the older man neighbor that we have not it's not like one of the kid neighbors um he had pulled out this nerf football and he stood out there and played catch with colin and threw it and colin got it and it was like catch slash fetch really um for like the better part of an hour and i kept saying like just let me know like if you need to go inside or whatever and he was like having both of the boys were having the time of their life and so then Nora's just running around talking and anyway they were having a great time so all in all really good day I will see you tomorrow I think I'll do a two-day vlog um, so this will be day one of two and then I'll see you tomorrow for day two of two good morning it is the next day I'm heading in to work out after a very eventful night which I'll tell you about after I work out well good morning it is Wednesday now and I have both kids home with me it's about 11 o'clock so our night last night as I alluded to earlier when I was walking into the gym was my personal worst type of night <laughs> as a parent which is Nora was feeling nauseous before bed and she had said that her tummy hurt we gave her some anti-nausea medicine. We, you know, we did everything that we could, but with a, a tummy, it gets sort of like, you have to sort of let it ride. And so at 1.30 in the morning, she came into our bed because she wasn't feeling well and she was like coming in to tell us that she wasn't feeling well and she ended up vomiting all over everything. So at 1.30 in the morning, Riley and I both got up. I gave her a bath. He washed all the sheets and rinsed everything off just all of that and then he ended up sleeping in the guest room and I went with Nora into her room and slept with her in her room and luckily it was one and done but she's still not feeling great today and just out of an abundance of caution we're keeping both of them home all day today so I did get up and I still went and worked out this morning and then I ran over to my office because I had a handful of orders that I needed to get out today so I went and did those two things I feel completely fine um what I honestly think, I honestly think that she just ate something that didn't sit well with her because she doesn't have a fever and she's not really acting sick. She just seems tired, which throwing up does make you really tired. Um, and she's not really eating. I think she's like a little nervous to eat, which also is going to make you feel tired. But she's, I don't think she has a stomach bug or anything, thank God, because none of the rest of us feel sick. And I just think it was like a one-time thing. But just like I said, out of, a, out of an abundance of caution, we're keeping her home from school today. Right, Nunu? <laughs> Um, she's definitely tired. I know whenever I throw up, I feel exhausted for like 24 hours. It's just a lot. Um, and then, like I said, when you're not eating, your, your body just feels exhausted. And she didn't get a good night's sleep last night because she was, you know, being bathed at like 2 a.m. So all that to say, I did get what I needed to get done, done this morning with my workout and then a little bit of work and then I'll be home with them for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna try to take advantage of the time at home between snuggles with them and everything and just, um, I wanna see if I can maybe make a loaf of sourdough bread and just finalize everything for their party on Saturday. Luckily, it's only Wednesday morning. So I think a few more days and we'll be just fine, especially if it was just a one-off, yes. Colin's birthday. And Colin's birthday is on Friday. Nora's reminding me. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So everybody's fine. It's it wasn't a big it's a big deal when it happens and then it keeps happening. But it was just a one time thing, I believe. So all right. I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I'm gonna see if I can get you to eat something, maybe some toast. Mm -mm. No, you don't want anything. Um and then I'm gonna change into some fresh clothes and we're just gonna try to get the day going. Like I said, maybe I can, I'm gonna feed my starter here in just a moment so that I can maybe make some sourdough. Right? You, what, are you, what movie are you watching? Uh, up. It's such a sweet movie. Okay, uh, that's the update on this Wednesday morning. All right, I just fed my sourdough starter and just to help it, um, I turned on, this is like a warming center, so I just turned it on low, so it's, I mean, I can put my whole hand on it. It's not hot, but it's just warm, just to help it, because I haven't made sourdough in probably six weeks, so it definitely needs some extra oomph behind it. Nora is about to color. What are you coloring? Oh, a submarine? Yeah. And I did get her to eat, hold on. 
and I was able to get her to eat a piece of toast and she's sipping on some orange Gatorade. So I feel good about that. At least a little something in her stomach. Um, and Colin's still watching up. So I'm gonna go rinse off in the shower and change my clothes. And then we can, maybe we could color together. You wanna? With this, on this? Sure. All right, we just spent some time coloring together and I'm watching some coverage of Hurricane Milton, which is just shocking. It's, it's just shocking. Um, and making the kids some lunch, so I'm giving them berries and crackers and cheese and then I have soup heating up on the stove that I pretty much, when I serve them soup, I pretty much drain it and they just eat the chunky bits of the soup because it's just, and the noodles, it's too hard for them to eat like actual brothy soup. So I'll just put that in here. Um, but this is, I mean, this is devastating, honestly. Let me show her that. Look at mine. I love it. I don't know what that is, but this is a buddy and the flower and the leaf. The flower on the leaf. So pretty. What are you Mommy, doing, Colin? I'm drawing a sand with green leaves on it. You're drawing with green leaves on it? Oh, yeah. Some trees are big. Some trees I'm are big. Oh, uh, I'll see big. You're drawing a really big tree? I'm drawing it on some white. Oh. Yeah. Oh, are those the branches? Huh? Are those the branches? No, yellow leaves. Oh, leaves, sorry. Love your grip. It's very um You got I got gifts. <laughs> you got I got gifts on here. <laughs> I got gifts on here. I'm I'm talking about the way you're holding the marker. It's very <laughs> unique. I got grip. That's a little got, better. Good job. Got, got he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Okay, so the kids have had lunch. I had lunch. I made myself a sandwich. And then I, let's see, we went outside and the kids played for about 30 minutes. And then I just laid down with the two of them in Nora's room and tried to get them both down for a nap. And they, Colin was, it was not going to happen. So he's watching a movie right now. But Nora did go down. So she's taking a nap. And then I, finished washing and laundering all the sheets and everything else that was covered last night and I'm gonna come in here and just read my book on my Kindle for a little bit um, so I can keep my ears out for Colin but my body is I'm really tired from being up for hours I'm not a good sleeper I never have been um, and I've always been someone who's needed a lot of sleep like my mom said that even as a little kid uh, definitely as a teenager like she just felt like I needed more sleep than my siblings um, and once I'm awake getting to sleep is like a whole ordeal for me so falling asleep at night reading has been my best bet for that and I've been doing that for about a year now two years it's been about two years actually since I really picked back up reading um, so anyway, that's how I go to sleep, but then like last night, I had been asleep for probably about an hour and a half, and then I was awoken by, like, in a very jolting way, and then I'm up, and like I said, like, doing all the nighttime things. And so then I went and got back in bed with Nora, and I didn't turn my Kindle on, I didn't bring my phone with me, I'm like, I'm just gonna go right back to bed. And I couldn't, like I laid there for probably 45 minutes and my brain is just like, I'm just all over the place. So I got my Kindle out and I ended up reading like for at least an hour. All of those words to say I got very little sleep last night and I'm really, really tired. So I'm just gonna rest for an hour or so while Nora takes a little nap. I can hear Colin, he's just, he's tired. He needs to take a nap. But to be honest with you, I don't have the fight in me today to get him down for a nap. So if he wants to just chill and on the couch, I honestly don't care, that's fine. So I'm gonna let him watch TV or a movie. Um, he was watching a movie, I think now he moved on to, I put on PJ Masks for him, which is a TV show. Anyway, I'm gonna read my book, it's getting good. Um, it's a psychological thriller, and I think it's called She's Not Sorry. So I'm about 
yeah, 48%. So I'm just about halfway, which is usually when it starts getting like really interesting. And uh, so I'm going to read that for a while. So there's your little check-in from a very sleepy mom. <laughs> Those nighttime wake-ups like that, zero stars. <laughs> like I do not recommend. It is dinner time now and I'm making this potato soup by the Pioneer Woman. So it is cooking right now and then I'll blend it. I have had my starter sitting here all day and it's barely risen at all. I think it was just, it's like starting to bubble mm, a little bit. I just think it's really, really dormant because it's been in the fridge for like six weeks. So I'll give it another feeding before bed tonight and then I can bake with it um, probably tomorrow morning. It'll be ready. So. That is what we are up to. Nora has her little friend over who lives a few doors down. I'll put that on with two hands in a second. So they're running around playing. They just made some bracelets, very cute. And uh, yeah, that's what we're up to. Okay, I just finished uh, the potato soup. So I made a little bowl for Nora and Colin. Riley's getting his bowl set up and then I'm gonna get mine. It looks really good. It smells so good in here. Okay, we got all the beads out. And I have my little board to help me with sizing. And we're gonna make some bracelets, huh? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Thousands. Oh, thousands. Uh -oh. Good morning, guys. It is 5.24 a.m. here. And uh, I just keep thinking about this storm and I just could not sleep, so I decided to get up and see how it was how it was going for the Floridians. Oof, rough, rough, rough times. Um, so I'm gonna watch this and on the Weather Channel here and just have a cup of coffee. It's Thursday night now, so tomorrow morning, Colin will be three, so I'm getting his little birthday set up going here. We have a happy birthday banner and plates and happy birthday balloons. This is his spot here, so we got him some bug-related stuff because that's his favorite of all time. And then this is a spider book and this is a bug book, and he will. this is his number one interest right now, so I think he will love that. And then I'm making some blueberry muffins over here. So I will talk to you while I finish making them. I'm like moving around in the cabinets as if it's going to make a big difference. And I'm going to be like, oh yeah, that lighting looks really good. Yeah, as expected. <laughs> oh gosh, what time is it? It's nine o'clock. Riley just got the kids down. Um, so I, let me get a spatula. So I'm making some blueberry muffins right now. I had in my brain all day for Colin's birthday breakfast um, that I was going to make cinnamon rolls. And the day has gone on and on and on and it's now nine o'clock and I was just, someone crying. Let me turn the TV off because I'm hearing phantom cries and I want Colin to be surprised in the morning so I don't want him to come out. Surely he's asleep. Okay, nobody's crying. Um, phantom cries were the worst when the kids were really little, like babies. I feel like I would be in the shower and I would just hear them crying and they would not be crying. Um, so anyway, I had in my mind all day I was gonna make did I just say cinnamon rolls? And then it was, you know, 8.45 and I'm like, I, you know, cinnamon rolls homemade take a few hours cause you gotta let them rise. And there, I just did not have it in me to make homemade cinnamon rolls. And so I was gonna just do it. And then I thought, no, I don't need to be doing all that. So then I was like, well, I guess I could make cupcakes but that's kind of weird cause I wanna do like a breakfast thing. And then I thought, how about blueberry muffins? It's like the cupcake of the morning. what I was looking for. So I'm doing, I'll link the recipe below. It's also on my plan to eat. If you follow me on plan to eat, they're called to die for blueberry muffins. So this is the streusel topping, which is amazing. And then I have the little muffins here that I'm about to fill up. And I have three little candles to put in Collins. So he was born at 1.23 a.m. At this time, three years ago, I was not in labor. <laughs> I was chilling. 
I was chilling. <laughs> and then I went into labor about an hour before he came into this world. Um, I have shared his birth story definitely on here before and it's worth a watch if you like listening to birth stories because it was by far the wildest day of my life and one of the very best. It was just amazing and so funny and crazy and just exactly the right like entrance for Colin specifically. Wild, it was wild. Almost had him on the side of a highway like actually I think I had five to eight minutes to spare and he would have been born on the side of a highway. So there you go. But um, so I'm making the blueberry muffins now. My parents flight landed close to an hour ago in Dallas. So they're on their way to us. They should be here any moment and um, we'll get to catch up with them for a little bit. Although they're always super tired when they arrive, not only from travel, but also because they're on um, East Coast time, Eastern time, and we're on Central time. And so when they arrive here, it's like, you know, 9.30 for us, but for them it's 10.30. And like, that kind of makes a big difference, at least for me, like 9.30, I'm still pretty peppy. By 10.30, I'm pretty much done, you know? And I'm a night owl, but those days of me staying up, I used to stay up until like 1 a.m. all the time. Those are really gone. Anyway, I'm just rambling now, but I'm gonna make these, put one on, his little plate with his little three things. I'm a little concerned how this is gonna go for Nora. She's, they're just so close in age. Oh no, someone definitely is crying. Riley must have got in there. They're just so close in age. They're not even two, well, they're two years apart in two weeks. So they're like just two years apart. And so, you know, it's hard for her as a four year old to understand why Colin's getting like all these gifts and stuff. So I'm gonna pull her aside in the morning and have a little chat with her about what the day's gonna look like because then the day after tomorrow is their joint birthday. Okay, now Riley's needing to get in, hang on. <laughs> he was locked out on the back patio. Anyway, I'm a little concerned how that's gonna go. So we'll, uh, I mean, she's gotta learn. You gotta learn that every day is not all about you and sometimes it's about somebody else and then you get your turn, but that's easier said than done. Anyway, I'm gonna finish these blueberry muffins and end the vlog here. Um, this has basically been like a weekly vlog, so I hope you have enjoyed spending the past few days together. It's been really, really fun to just document. I will definitely be vlogging this weekend because we have the kids' birthday party and my parents will be here, so lots of fun things to share. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you coming along for this week, um, for some of it anyway, a lot of it. Remember to go and check out my shop if you haven't recently because I have big, big, big sales going on for lots of different stuff to make room for the Christmas line, which is coming out very shortly. So make sure to go check it out. Some stuff is 25% off or more plus free US shipping. So like we're talking about rock bottom prices, like basically Black Friday style prices. Um, but I just don't have the room for all of it. So y'all gotta buy it up. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Leave me a comment below telling me how your week was. All my love to anyone affected by either Hurricane Helene or Milton. The two of them really are quite the couple. But I will see you guys soon. Happy birthday to my baby. Three tomorrow is wild. Thanks for being here. Bye guys.